All right, let's talk a little bit about puberty. Adolescence begins at puberty. A child's body is becoming an adult's body. What starts puberty? Well, the hypothalamus in the brain begins to produce a hormone. That hormone is called gonadotropin releasing hormone. That hormone goes to the pituitary gland, that's the master gland. And the pituitary releases luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. LH and then FSH trigger the ovaries and the testes to start making hormones. So it comes from the hypothalamus through the pituitary to then the ovaries and the testes. And that is what begins puberty. Okay, so when does puberty begin? Well, this is different for vagina owners versus penis owners. For vagina owners, puberty typically begins around 8 to 13 years of age. For penis owners, puberty begins around 9 to 14 years of age. So for people who have vaginas and uteruses, puberty tends to begin a little bit sooner. In puberty, there are some shared experiences, regardless of whether or not you are ovaries, vagina, uterus, or whether you are penis and testicles. So most people will experience some shared feelings, like mood swings. Mood swings may be the first sign of puberty. Anger, depression, embarrassment, all part of it. Um, also, there will be an increase in height, an increase in weight, acne, varying levels of acne. Not every person going through puberty has the same amount of acne. Also, underarm hair, in addition to pubic hair, body odor, mood changes, again, which I first talked about. So most people will experience these things and maybe on different levels. So acne, changes in height, hair, okay, smells, Okay, so interesting to note that the smell comes from bacteria digesting that sweat, <clears throat> not from your own body, so you can thank the bacteria. Okay, other puberty changes depend on specific hormones. So vagina owners versus penis owners, uh, the changes will be different. So those initial changes are regardless of your reproductive anatomy. Your specific reproductive anatomy determines some of the other changes. So what are the stages of puberty? Well, they're divided into five tanner stages. Let me give you a little bit of disclaimer about the tanner stages. So uh, these were developed in a study from 1949 to 1971 by James Tanner, not surprising. Um, he documented the growth of children at, orphanage, at an orphanage outside of London, and he did that documentation with charts and photographs. It was originally begun as a study to study malnutrition, but it did progress into a very longitudinal study. However, again, take that into account. Time period, location. So when we're talking about whether or not this is applicable in our current state um, and for all races, that's something that is up for debate. Okay, so that's just my disclaimer. Okay, for penis owners, Tanner stage one is before puberty. So there's no visible changes. It doesn't necessarily mean there might not be something going on hormonally, but there is no outward um, evidence of puberty. Okay, Tanner stage two for penis owners. This is between nine to 14 years of age. So puberty is beginning. There is genital development, so there's growth of testicles and growth of the scrotum. There's growth of some sparse hair around the penis and under the arms. And there's an increase in height, about two to two and a half inches per year. Okay, for penis owners, as we move on, Tanner stage three, ages 10 to 16. Uh, the physical changes are gonna speed up here. So there's continued growth of the penis and testicles. Uh, the penis owner may experience wet dreams uh, where there is ejaculation during sleep. There is darkening, coarsening of pubic hair and typically in the shape of a triangle. 
there's continued increase in height, maybe around two and three quarters to over three inches per year. Uh, sweating and body odor really begins uh, to increase at this time. Vocal changes occur, so there may be voice cracking. Uh, increased muscle mass. Uh, possible breast development. So 50% of penis owners um, will develop some breast during puberty. This typically resolves by the end of puberty, uh, so it is a normal part of this process. Uh, for penis owners, canner stage four is between the ages of 11 and 16. There is growth in penis size, uh, darkening of the skin on the scrotum. There are red ridges that occur on the testicles, uh, kind of like a line down. Uh, body hair growth reaches adult levels. Uh, pubic hair does remain in that coarse triangle. Uh, this is where the peak growth spurt occurs, maybe about four inches a year. Uh, acne becomes prevalent here, as well as cracking of the voice. Okay. Uh, for penis owners, Tanner stage five, this is going to complete around 17 to in the 20s uh, and puberty ends so growth finishes facial hair may not develop until this stage um, and the pubic hair may extend out to the thighs or even up to the belly button so here is a visual of varying tanner stages one through five uh, when we're talking about uh, penis owners so you can see the growth of the penis, the growth of the scrotum, uh, the development of pubic hair, and how that changes as you progress from Tanner stage one to Tanner stage five. Okay, for vagina owners, Tanner stage one, very similar. It's pre-puberty. There's no visible changes. That does not mean hormonal changes may not have begun, but there are no outward visible signs. Um, vagina owners, Tanner stage two. So this is between the ages of eight and 13. So puberty begins here. Uh, breasts begin to bud. The areola is the pigmented area around the nipple uh, starts to enlarge. Pubic hair begins to appear and height increases about two and three quarters inches per year. For vagina owners, Tanner stage three, this is between the ages of 9 through 14. Um, physical changes speed up. Uh, breasts continue budding. The underarm hair begins to grow. Pubic hair continues to grow. Uh, the pubic hair is coarse, curly, in the shape of a triangle. Um, the growth spurt may have more than 3 inches per year. Um, and oily skin and acne are consistent at this tanner stage. Now, the amount is different depending on the individual. In tanner stage four for vagina owners between the ages of 10 and 15, uh, breasts are going to continue growing. Uh, the nipples start to protrude. Uh, the pubic hair is still in a triangle, but it's too many hairs to count at this point. Uh, growth may continue at two and three quarters inches per year, uh, and acne does continue. Now for vagina owners, Tanner stage five, it's going to finish between the ages of 16 to 20 typically. So vagina owners are going to end puberty a little sooner. So puberty ends here, growth is finished, pubic hair may extend out to thighs or up to the belly button again. All right, so here's a visual to see some of those changes from Tanner stage one through Tanner stage five. So we have changes in the nipples, changes in the breasts, changes uh, in uh, pubic hair. So you can see visually uh, those changes that are occurring during puberty. So again, um, testicles drop in large around age 11 till 12 typically, but again, um, most of the time it's measured in those tanner stages but again remember the disclaimer um, both people with 
uh, testicles and people with ovaries uh, can have uh, breast tissue growing because that's related to estrogen. So breast buds can occur regardless of your reproductive anatomy. Typically for testicle owners, uh, that is a short lived process. Okay, so puberty occurs within a range. So if it's occurring between nine and 14, it may not occur until 14 for one person and it may be finished and done with that stage at age nine for another person. There's a lot of variation um, within the stages. And that is puberty. So I hope you learned something new.